Well, I've just lost my high spirits for the next episode. I guess on with the video. Maybe I'll have Percy react to the next one instead. Hello passengers, Trainboy10 here, and today we're going to react to the next episode of Thomas and Sheriff Callie and Friends. We're going to get into it As now. a punishment for treating Rebecca poorly, Gordon and Henry were assigned to shunting duties at Nafford Yards. They both hated this punishment, but they knew that Sir Topham Hat would be cross with them if they don't do it. One evening. You know, honestly, the only reason that Gordon is mad is because Rebecca bumped him. You know, what if someone else did that? I mean, Rebecca didn't bump your express coaches. I mean, if I was Gordon, I'd rather be bumped than have the express coaches destroyed. He's kind of sexist if you ask me. At the sheds, the engines are watching a very awesome movie. What, are they watching like Unstoppable or something? That's what it looks like. Yeah, thanks, Edward. You're welcome, gals. Oh yeah, I guess some of the characters here got some new voice actors. Oh hi, Rebecca. I need <gasps> Rebecca, Nia. What are you two doing in our sheds? They could be just be resting for a moment. Oh, they are watching Unstoppable. I knew it. And Rebecca, Gordon and I have something to tell you. What is it, Henry? Well, we're sorry for how we treated you a few weeks ago, aren't we, Gordon? No, I am not sorry. Well, Henry's, Henry's sorry, but Henry, Henry's sorry, but Henry, Henry, sorry. Before she and Nia taken our sheds, first she got us into trouble. Oh my God, Gordon! They could just be resting for one second. Holy Christ! Gordon! Oh, I'm so sorry, Rebecca. What the? F what in? What the? F Gordon, what the f is wrong with you, man? Okay, Henry. So Gordon and Henry went off to sleep somewhere else. So to our news. Good evening, everyone. We interrupt this program oh. with some breaking news. Four criminals have escaped from prison. This is their mugshot. If you have any oh. information on these four criminals, please call 911 immediately. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That I was not, not expecting good. that. Oh, dear. I hope they catch them soon. <sighs> Getting late. We should get some sleep. Meanwhile, Gordon and Henry decided to sleep at Nafford Sheds for the night. Gordon! I can't believe you said that to her! Just keep your mouth shut. She deserved it. No, she didn't! Oh, hey, Murdoch, Arthur, Harvey, and I think that's Humphrey right there. Stanley. Yeah, Stanley and Tyler too. You, you got the whole, you got the entire cast here. Oh well, Gordon, you can't just get mad at anybody for taking your shed. They could have just been resting for a moment, you know. They probably would have went somewhere else. Treating her poorly. Why are you treating her poorly? Well, because she's been making mistakes. She reached steam when she approached the station, and she fetched her own coaches, and I know some tender engines do shunt, like Edward and James, but bigger tender engines don't shunt. Oh my god, yes they do! She's just trying to be really useful. I mean, sure, she may- Just because a new engine comes and sleeps in your shed, doesn't mean that, that she's taking your place. She's just new here, and what she needs is to feel more comfortable here. 
Gordon had a lot to think about. The next morning, Sir Tom Hat came to Tip Machette with a very special job for one of the engines. Engines? I need a volunteer to take a very special delivery to the new Sodor Bank. Oh, cool. What is it, sir? It's a surprise, Nina. So, any volunteers? I'll do it, sir. Thanks, Rebecca. Your special is waiting at Brandam Docks. <laughs> Brandam Docks. <laughs> that's kind of funny, and I, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, Dominic. That that that's just kind of funny. Hey, what's in these crates? Why, these crates are full of gold and money, me hearty. Wow, gold and money. Shh. Yes, gold and money, but you should be very, very quiet. Four criminals have escaped from prison last night. You'll never know where they'll be watching. Then why do they know? Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? I need to stop shouting. I, I need to stop shouting. I'm gonna get a headache if I keep doing this. We'll be right back, Rebecca. We have to use the restroom. Okay, driver and farmer. Oh, wait. I know what's gonna happen. The robbers are gonna hijack Rebecca and Gordon and... Uh, Gordon and Henry are gonna have to save Rebecca. I see what's gonna happen now. I knew it. I, I knew it. Well, well. That train is carrying gold and money to the new Sodor Bank. So, what's the plan, boss? Alright, here's the plan. First, we hijack the locomotive, and then we'll drive it to the new Sodor Bank. I knew it. I knew it. We steal all the golden money from the bank, and then we load it up onto the train, and then we'll take the money and the gold back to our hideout. Uh, is driving a train dangerous? Don't be such- I guess it can be if you don't know how to drive one. Uh, okay. Now come on, let's get on the train before somebody sees us. Oh. Let's get rolling. <laughs> How do you not realize that he was alive? Um, we're going a little fast. Is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just in a hurry. I mean, it's not like... Uh, what the fireman is trying to say is that we're just in a hurry to get back home. That's all. What? We're not heading no, home. No, 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 we're no, We're running a bank, remember? No, you, you idiot! What? You need to fire him, her. Sorry. Help! Someone call the police! Pop and hijack! Uh oh. Meanwhile, at Nafford Yards, Gordon wanted to say something to Henry. Hey, Henry. Yes, Gordon. I've been thinking about what Stanley said last night, and I'm starting to think he's right. I shouldn't have been so mad at Rebecca, and I'm sorry for snapping at her. It's okay, Gordon. I'm so happy that you finally understand. Ah, look out! Gordon got out of the way, just in time. The <laughs> well, what is that shot? Just ex like widescreen, just oh, no. like, like ultra, ultra widescreen. Oh wait, is that Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure music? Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. It, it was pretty obvious. No, but we have to stop her somehow. Yeah, I was kinda gonna ask, why would the why would the trucks like make Rebecca a runaway if they like her? Engines, I'll try, Sigos. Really? He's a gun. <laughs> hey, stop this train now! Uh, guys, Hexal is right. Two steam engines are chasing us. What are we gonna do? Don't worry. I Use a gun, shoot him, I guess. Say hello I guess to my this. <gasps> okay, I, I guess. Vista, <laughs> this is kinda. This is a, This is actually kinda awesome. No! 
I'm actually enjoying this. Why would you do that? I'll never let you get away with this. God and Henry will stop you. Yeah. yeah, they will. They're gaining on us. We need to go faster. Okay. More explosions. Please, I want explosions. Do you want munitions? You broke the brakes! Oh no! Dude, you gotta oh, stop repair. Ultra widescreen again. And Gordon, you couple up at the back. And put your brakes in once you're coupled up. Got it! Yeah! Yeah, this is actually awesome. Couple me up to the train quickly! Okay. You know, honestly, I think this. I think this might be my new favorite episode. Just of how, you know, like, like when I saw the scene with Rebecca and Salty at the docks, I kind of thought this might have been a repeat of Edward and Nia, but I was wrong. This is actually, I think, a lot more epic than that. We're not snowing down enough. Where's Henry? Okay, Toby. Oh. 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 Yay, Toby survived. I mean, he was going to anyway. You. Woo, you saved me. Thank you, guys. No problem, Rebecca. Yeah, you're well done. Rebecca. <laughs> now kill the robbers. But you didn't stop us. Kill the robbers! Use a gun! I got a gun. <laughs> Yes! That's right! You're gonna die! Oh, crap. Gordon, Henry, I am very proud of you two. You saved Rebecca from having a serious accident. You two are very heroic. Thank you. Yeah, they are. Thank you, sir. Not only did they save Rebecca, but they. But they, uh. Also managed to stop some robbers. We just wanted to do the right thing. Yeah, and we would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Uh, do you mean meddling engine? Oh, right. Meddling engines. Sorry. Yeah, they're, they're trains. And plus, like, they're over a hundred years old, so... I don't know why they would be considered kids. dollars for your bravery. A thousand dollars? Thank you, ma'am. What would they do with it? What, what would they do with a thousand dollars? They're trains. Like, would they just buy some coal or something? Or give it to Sir Topham Hat? How would trains use money? Eh, I don't know. You know what? I, I, I'm not going to question it. Well, hello, my friends. And who's this? Oh yeah, train. It's it's Train Boy Fifty Four. Yeah, he did Victor and Kevin and Rama Fools videos. Kevin. Sorry, boss. It was a slip of the hook. Spank him. I want to see some. Sp yeah. No, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna spank Kevin. I guess not. Oh well. Four robbers used Rebecca as a getaway vehicle, and one of them broke the brakes, so me and Henry have to come and rescue her. Oh, I see. Don't worry. Yep, Rebecca. everything makes uh, everything makes a lot more sense now. Don't worry, Rebecca. You know what? I think I might understand why this episode took so long to uh, be completed. For how much has to be done in this? They were sent back to jail. I hope they get comfortable there, because that's where they're going to stay for a very, very, very long time. Wouldn't they stay there for life? Or unless they escaped? 
Okay, so that's it. I actually think that this one is going to be my new favorite. While I think some of the stuff in this episode is kind of similar to how it was in Edward and Nia, I was honestly surprised to, know, to see, like, just for, like, a, robbers, they hijack Rebecca, just how epic this was. Sure, it may not be, like, as cinematic as, like, Tug's Munitions or something Thomas official that tries to be epic, but I still think that it is a really good one. And while the next episode may not be, well, as good as this one, I can still hope that the future episodes will be good. I really don't know what else to say, besides, you should subscribe to Tyler, like always. Make sure to subscribe to me and click the notification bell so you don't miss the train for the next video. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below on what other kinds of content you would like to see on my channel. That's all for me. I'm Trainboy10, and have a great day everyone!